welcome or welcome back Mo Gang or welcome to the Mo Gang if you are new here. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I'm sorry if you guys see a glare through my glasses. I need my glasses for this video just so I can see a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? So before we get started on what today's video is, if you guys would take one quick second, if you are not subscribed already, definitely go down below, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, select all so that way you are notified every single time I post a new video. Today's video is going to be about the goodies I got during the Sephora spring sale event, I believe is what it's called. Um, so they had different tiers based on your like membership level. So I, I was beauty insider level, so I have now moved up to the VIB membership. So now going forward, I am officially a VIB member. I don't know if I'll make it to Rouge. Who knows? Because I don't even know how much money you got to spend at Sephora to get to Rouge. That means you really be spending money, money. So um, this go around, since I was a beauty insider, I did um, get to take advantage of the 10% off they did have 30 percent off for all their sephora collection items but i didn't pick up anything from that because i don't really know much about their sephora collection like that to really pick anything up and i don't really do much with makeup usually makeup is what i see a lot of people pick up in that so i just wanted to go through the items that i picked up during the sale so if you guys are interested in what i picked up just stay tuned okay so this is still in the package just got to me today like boom just got to me today today is april the 20th or technically it's the 21st because i'm doing this mad late at night but i wanted to get this up as well and for the record this is of course not sponsored i don't have sponsored videos at this point in time so all this stuff i bought with my own coins sephora is not paying me to talk or say anything about this um and this that i'm looking at does not have the prices on it so unfortunately i would not be able to say anything regarding prices i do have some samples and things in here as well so i'm going to just pick stuff at random out of here and show you guys what it is i will link try to remember to link everything down below um of course it will be regular price now i got it at regular price but i also got my 10 percent off as well so just keep that in mind so the first thing up that i wanted to pick up and give a try is the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide sunscreen in spf 50 so that is her there and honestly i didn't i did not think this was gonna be so tiny clearly i did, clearly i didn't read the specs as far as the um size on it clearly i didn't because probably if i had i probably wouldn't have picked it up oh my god it's adorable and of course it's in the signature pink glow recipe for the watermelon line the same signature pink packaging but this is adorable i have seen a few people review this already which made me want to pick it up um so i'm gonna try this out i probably will mostly use this on my face honestly um i'm sure you could use this all over it doesn't say it's specified for face but even if it was specified for the face you can use it all over but with it only being like one ounce one point six nine fluid ounces i'm not gonna be using this all over my body i would just stick to using my black girl sunscreen but this is the first item up that i wanted to try out and i just love their packaging like so so much it's so cute this is the glow recipe plum plump hyaluronic serum deep hydration plus glow okay and this does have vegan collagen in it as well as obviously hyaluronic acid so 
this is the packaging for her and if y'all know anything about glow recipe um products their product packaging is a one like even down to the details of their box like look at that like why is that so pretty even obviously the same thing with this the um glow recipe packaging like inside there like it's cute like honey it's the details it's always the details for me every single time but anywho oh this is cute so that is what she looks like she's in this per pretty like purplish shade it looks to be quite runny but i'm mad at it i definitely want to give this a try and this i think let's see this targets um I think this is more so geared towards hydration. Yes, yeah, so deep hydration and glow. And so on to the next item. I, again, I'm just pulling things out as random. I wanted to try to find me a like pre-made like detoxifying mask. So I picked this one up. I don't know if I've heard anyone say anything about this, but the brand is Innisfree. And this is their pore clearing clay mask. 2x with super volcanic clusters and this is their facial mask so that is what the box itself looked like it's kind of ordinary nothing going on and from the packaging that i saw online this actually looks different <laughs> but this is it looks the same but i thought it was a little bit bigger but it's still not bad but very nice simple sleek packaging there i like that i actually really like this packaging it's simple but it's nice so i just wanted to kind of get something that was pre-made uh no particular reason i think i want to say i kind of was just looking at the reviews and things like that and i was like ah, let me give this a try um because i do have oily skin as you pro probably can see through the camera <laughs> so anything that has like charcoal in it or like clays bentonite clays things like that usually help a lot with my oiliness of my skin and help with the detoxifying so just figured I would pick that up and try it out all these items like I said I have not tried before with the exception of my next item yep I thought I did okay I was almost about to pick up the new serum but this particular one I picked up instead is actually a repurchase. So I did go ahead and pick back up the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops because I absolutely love using this during the daytime. I'm 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 just I'm just hooked. I, I don't know. It's it's very nice. I like it a lot. And niacinamide is really good. Of course, again, here they go with the cute packaging, even down to the details of the inside. Um, but niacinamide and ceramides, things like that, are really good for oily skin, as I've been told from um, estheticians. And, um, of course, I watch LA Beautyologist home online. I watch... Uh, Taj Mahali on YouTube as well and they talk about the same things are really good and then like I said my actual esthetician I go to for my facials said you know ceramides niacinamide are really really good for oily skin um so this is actually a repurchase so this is the one thing that is just a repurchase because the one I have now is like down here so I don't have much left of that so did go ahead and pick that up this um moisturizer from skin fix it is the barrier plus skin barrier restoring cream excuse me gel cream and so the claims is supposed to help restore strengthen balance and protect skin barrier lightweight nourishing hydrator so this is the box This is the box here. And then um, I'm trying to think 
I'm trying to think who. I think I saw Casey Aaliyah more than likely is who it was. <laughs> more than likely is who it was because I feel like she it always has me buying something skincare related and I have to kind of stop. My I try to kind of sneak things in here and there. Um, and just for clarity, it does, it is targeted for dehydration, dryness, oily blemish prone skin combination sensitive skin. So um, this I figure I probably would use once I'm finished using um, because I do double moisturize at night. I just find that I don't know if it's because I'm getting older that my skin seems to get drier at night, but I'm still very oily. So it's not like it's, you know, it's like that throughout the day and stuff like that. So usually I have something that's more of like a skin barrier type of cream. And then I have my um, Nordor comb cream that I put on top because um, that's more of like a jelly cream type of consistency um but this is how this looks i love this blue blue used to be my favorite color by the way i still like blue but it's just not a favorite color of mine and then what i liked about this is that it has this little white piece here that's actually what you press to get the uh cream up so i thought it was pretty cool um when i saw casey Aaliyah using this so figured i would pick this up try it out see how i like it um i don't know if i i guess i'll probably use this because right now i'm using the ole henriksen strengthening barrier cream all right and so last product i picked up and honestly it's kind of annoying because i feel like it really shouldn't have been as hard to find these types of products <laughs> but it actually was um so i was looking for another overnight lip mask the one i have currently is um bath and body works i think it's the coconut overnight mask hold on I'll so grab the overnight lip mask i'm using right now is the bath and body works coconut nourishing lip mask which is this one here um the thing about this i absolutely love this love this but and i just bought this in november so this past november of 2021 i just purchased this this was the first time i'd ever seen it in bath and body works at all right so probably about a month or two ago probably about two easily two months ago, probably in around January, February, we'll say, I went to try to look because I'm getting low on it. Like I'm not running out, but this was filled all the way to the top and you can see like it's pretty far down there. Right. So I was like, well, I'll go ahead and just buy another one. So I already have one available. They're nowhere to be found. They don't sell them no more, but I'm like, I've never seen it before. So there's no way y'all just started selling this just last year and it's already gone because the gloss I have on my lips right now is one of their OGs. I used to use it um, when I was in college and I just happened to pick it back up. The pink um, like lip gloss, the pink tinted lip gloss or whatever, sheer lip gloss. Love that stuff. But anyway, I say all that to say the product I picked up, I didn't want to pick up Laneige because I just, I don't know. I kind of hear that it's overhyped, if I'm being honest. So I wasn't really wanting to pick that up. And it wasn't a lot of lip overnight lip mask, uh, strangely enough. So I went ahead and picked up the Belief Aqua Bomb Overnight Lip Mask. And this is what the packaging looks like. And let's see here. So I figured I'll pick this up. And it's a decent size. It's 0.7 ounces. And the one I'm currently using is 0.73 ounces. So wasn't matter that. Of course, the price point is different. This is $12.50. But I think I actually got this for free because I think I did like to buy three, get three free or whatever. Um, but this was $12.50 versus I think this i can't remember i think this was like maybe 20 something dollars maybe something like that um this is what she looks like here 
So I'm definitely, I really want to open this just to see. I really want to open this just because I want to see like what the texture looks like. If it looks the same as that. I want to say when I saw it online, I feel like I saw it up there, but I genuinely can't remember. So, of course, another product I wanted to try out. So, you know, figured I would pick that up and definitely like. Honestly, I feel like when, especially Sephora specifically, because they do have pricier items, um, you know, if you can catch those sales and being a beauty insider is free. You don't have to pay to be a beauty insider. Just just for the record, it's just like a rewards program, basically. It's really and I did pick up, I don't honestly... I remember picking out one of these samples, but this second sample, I, I'm certain... Uh, I did not pick out, so I guess they just threw it in my bag. So I'll go over that first. So it's from Beauty Blender, so like the people that make the Beauty Blenders, and this is the Bounce Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation samples, which is these here. And the other sample I did pick was this uh, J'adore Dior perfume sample and i'm sure i sure am about to go ahead and test it first of all oh my god like this is the cutest freaking little tester like i know it's simple but it's cute okay so let me i don't think yeah i don't have any other fragrance on so let me test this out there is a j'adore Ooh. There is a Jador. It's Jador, I think, Absolute. I think is how you pronounce it. That I smell at Ulta. I really like that. I may get the travel size of that because um, Jador Dior is kind of pricey. Um, but you know me, I don't really, I mean, I'll, I'll invest if I want to. But I might get the smaller one because I do have a ton of perfumes. Um, so I was like, well, let me just get the Jador, the regular Jador and see how this works. Um, it's strange because it kind of initially gave me old lady a little bit, a little bit, a little bit when I put it up to my nose. But, oh, as it's drying down, it smells so good good and of course they do oh they do okay 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 so and i think that's why i picked this so it says an endless burst of flowers that diffuse infinitely cinephola rose jasmine liang liang and gra grassy tuberose I, I don't know what that is, y'all. Refined by the woody accents of a creamy sandalwood, Jador becomes infinitely sensual, just like its infinite trail. This smells really good now that it's on my skin. Oh my gosh. Where are the items that I picked up during the Sephora spring sale? Um... And then I believe they have another one in the fall. So the one in the fall, I probably will be participating in because at least in that one, if they do the same percentages, I'll be getting 15% off instead of 10 because now I am a VIB member. So we love that. Um, but even in the meantime, I'm still going to be shopping at Sephora anyway, getting stuff when I want to. So it's no big deal. <laughs> but if you guys have any questions regarding any of the items that I picked up or anything at all like that, definitely leave those down below so I can hit you guys back, chit chat up in the comments with you all. And I will see you guys in my next video. I'll see y'all then. Peace out.